Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 14 box bow nose football mixer featuring that Bo Jackson helmet, full size helmet that we're giving away at the end. There you go, everyone will get a random team in the NFL, no vet common ship. At the end we'll re-randomize everybody's names, new dice roll, top name gets that. I guess second name will get points if any, collect it all as one lot for spot number two. And we'll use the same dice roll and separate list if there's any other randomizers we need to do. Those are the boxes featured in this mixer right here. It's like a pretty good looking mixer. Big thanks to all of these folks here from Matt Buckler all the way down to Robert Runkle. Congrats to the uh, spot winners right there. Thank you to the uh, people who bought their spots straight up. I appreciate that. All 32 teams are in. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a two, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time. After six, we got AP down to Chris Maxwell. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, And sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Bills all the way down to the Pat Riots, the Patriots. All right, AP with the Buffalo Bills, Ryan with the Saints, Robert with the Chargers, Stephen with the Bengals, Robert with the Bucks, Mike with the Titans, Levi with the Washington football team, Aubrey with Cleveland, Colton with Miami. Karen with uh, Detroit, Oliver with the Minnesota Vikings, Josh with the Jets, Adam with the Cowboys, Daniel, you got my Raiders, Colton with the Seahawks, Travis with the Broncos, Chris with the Giants, Daniel with the Bears, Chris with the Panthers, Michael with the Texans, Tommy with the Falcons, George with the Niners, Robert with the Chiefs, Jeff with the Colts, Benjamin with the Cardinals, Jose with the Ravens, Gene with the Rams, Matt with the Jags, Adam with the Packers, Asa with the Eagles, Corey with the Steelers, and Chris Maxwell, last spot mojo, New England Patriots. So let's get all this on one screen, sort by column B. We're gonna pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trade and then the break, stick around. All right, trade window closed. Welcome back everybody. There is a trade though. Just got in before the trade window closing. Travis and Chris made a deal. So Chris is out of the Patriots spot and into the Denver spot. Put a T next to there for trade, so you know who draws first blood in the trade if you're following along at home. And Travis is now in the Pat spot, out of the Broncos spot right there. So there you go. A lot of trade chatter too, but just that one deal. It's all good. The 14 box bow nose football mixer. Let's print that out. There's all 14 boxes right there. You can see some on the top cam. You can see some on this cam right here. I'll take it out of the box once we give it away, but that's the Bo Jackson Raiders helmet. Looks pretty cool. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We, got a, we have a pick your team football mixer where we're giving away break credit. So if you want to do another mixer tonight, I would, I would definitely be down for it. All right, I don't know if I have enough supplies for this break, but we'll, we'll wing it. Probably need a lot of regular top loaders. What should we, what should we start with here? I don't know what to start with. I don't know, we'll just, we'll just grab boxes and we'll, and we'll go. We're going to start with uh, this uh, Donruss Elite retail hanger box from 2016. I think I actually have to. Oh, no. This one. It's a little confusing. They hide the, they hide the pack right there, but there's no way for me. I just have to tear this open like, like the Hulk. Oh, 
go. All right. It's what's going on. We got Marcus Allen etched in time. We got Field Vision, Tom Brady, and we got a Jalen Mills autograph, rookie auto for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Asa. Maybe a little try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And there's Seamus Winston right there. All right. Let's grab this. 20, we're just going to bounce around the years. We're going 2019 playoff. Panini playoff. Playoffs. Playoffs. Do we have, do we have any, what, are, what are some of the interesting games that are happening this weekend, folks? Patriots are at Bills. Are the Pats going to lose like three in a row? Is that is that what's gonna? I, I, the Bills have struggled a little bit the last couple games too. They haven't looked super sharp. But are the Patriots really gonna go and lose three in a row? I think Buffalo's favored. They're minus three and a half. Who does everyone have in that? They're gonna start Jarrett Stidham. They should. They should Sean Jaspi saying they should start Jarrett Stidham. I, Cam's a mess. Yeah, what, he looked so good like first couple weeks or so. Some people are speculating maybe his, maybe the, the COVID has kind of made him, kept him less than 100%, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Oh, have they lost three already? Could they lose four in a row then? No, they're two and four. They've already lost three in a row, so could they lose four in a row then, Brad? I mean, when's the last time a Belichick team has lost four in a row? The Belichick's Patriots team. All right, here's 2019. We got Troy, Aik Troy Aikman to 10, two out of 10, and stargazing, rookie wave. Baker Mayfield stargazing and J.J. Arthigo Whiteside, rookie wave. And here is a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? So Patriots' last win was against my Raiders back in late September. And there's rookie Stallions, Tony Pollard, for the boys. Cowboys, what's going on with them? A lot of injuries. But is there unrest in the locker room? This is what happens in a COVID season, I think. Mike McCarthy doesn't get to have like a, a summer with like a face-to-face -face with his team. New coach. not face to face with his team and trying to instill a new a new system, a new philosophy. It's hard to kind of get everyone to buy in. I think that gets a little gets a little difficult. I think that's one of the and plus the injuries don't help. But I think that's one of the more interesting examples. Harrison Smith game day autograph. That'll be for Minnesota, that'll be for Oliver. Josh Jacobs, rookie. And we got a 60 out of 99, Mac Wilson.
A Drew Locke, Air Command, and a James Conner accolades relic. That's true. Browns have a new coach, and the Browns are hot. I don't think the other new coaches or teams with new coaches. That's something we talked about in the uh, in the preseason. Teams with new coaches and new quarterbacks, you know, might might struggle more than more than teams that are more established. No, but I think Browns might be one of the one of the one of the exceptions there. They're five and two. We've got Gardner Minshew, rookie autographs variation, fourth down variation. That goes to Jacksonville. That'll be for Matt Buckler. Jacksonville, they're on a they're on a buy. We kind of kept it close with uh, the Chargers last week. I want to say. All right, here's 2020 Donruss Football Cello Packs. Cowboys have the same offensive coordinator. Chris Maxwell is pointing out, but yeah, but in but in just in terms of just in terms of uh, Mike McCarthy having, I mean, I think it makes a big difference trying to instill a brand new philosophy to to that team. I heard something on NFL Network where they were like. Mike McCarthy came to Dallas, and Mike McCarthy teams have always won the turnover battle. He's always been plus on the turnover margin, right? While the Cowboys in the last handful of seasons have been have been uh, not very good on the turnover margin. They're in the negative. So I heard on NFL Network that Mike McCarthy went to Dallas and went to their training facilities. They only had like three or four jugs machines or something like that. When they were trying to trying to do more more practicing with ball control stuff, they had to buy like five more. And trying to get teams to buy into all of that it gets a little difficult. New philosophy, new coaching style. Plus the injury <laughs> doesn't help. But can that I think that division might still might might still be able to win that division. The Cowboys are playing the Eagles this uh, Sunday night. Looks like who does everyone have in that one? Philadelphia is the prohibitive favorite. They're minus seven and a half at home. Is Ben DiNucci starting that game? Dust off your Ben DiNucci rookie cards from this year. Are we going to find Ben DiNucci in this 2020 Donners set right here? Maybe? Yeah, the Dallas defense looks like the team from Unnecessary Roughness. Yes. That, I thought that defense, I mean, again, I'm sure th there's injuries involved there as well. I just thought that, was, that off, or defense was going to be so much better. Buccaneers Tom Brady going to Robert. All these blue parallels, of course, will ship. They're parallels. Or Dak Prescott, and there he is right here. Hopefully he'll he'll be back healthy. 
What happens? Is Does he just become a free agent in the offseason? Because it's... Is this the last year of his contract? I actually don't recall off the top of my head how that's going to happen. Cowboy organizations say they're going to sign him, but it's going to be that long-term deal. Maybe they give him an extra year or two. Oh, they can tag him again? That's probably what they'll do. What's the time frame they're going to tag? Yeah, Rich is saying that too. They're, what's the time frame on an injury like that? It's got to be at least a calendar year. And then however long it takes to get you into football shape. Yeah, no idea, says Rich. Yeah, I don't know either. My, my guess is a calendar year, <laughs> like an ACL injury, almost a calendar year, and then however long it takes you to, to get into NFL shape. And then let alone be able to play some snaps. How long did it take Alex Smith? Yeah, they had the Chris Maxwell saying Cowboys need to have a decision made by March, but it would be crazy not to tag him. Yeah, it's TIG saying maybe a year, another four to six months maybe, get back into football shape. Terrible. And then Odell Beckham Jr. out for out for the rest of the year too with an ACL. I wonder. It'll be an interesting question to see how the Ram the Rams how how the Browns do in that without Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, Alex was uh, yeah, Alex Smith was out for almost 2 years. I don't know, is that I'm not sure if that's uh that's a super short print or not. Yeah, there's your franchise tag answer. Thanks, Chris. And I think they can only do that for so many years, right? No Ben DiNucci's in here? Well, no Justin Herbert's, Joe Burrow's, or Tua's in here either. Interesting. Hmm. All that. Unless I... I don't think I missed any. I'll just keep an eye out for those. But anyway, there you go. All right. How about some uh, 2016 Black Gold? It's right in front of me. Let's do it. Franchise gold. 
36 out of 225. This is all Patriots right here going to Travis. We got Matthew Stafford to 225 going to the Lions. That'll be for Karen. And we've got Derek Henry, 77 out of 99. Gold prospecting quad relic. Nice one for the Titans. Mike, the Titans. This would be a, a rookie, Derek Henry. It's 2016. There's Jakeem Grant, rookie autograph for the Dolphins, 46 out of 99. And that is Colton and the Dolphins. And we've got a randomizer here, Kent Dixon, Devontae Booker, Tyler Irvin, and Paul Perkins, 197 out of 249, rookie Tet Red. Chris remembering that Grant, Jakeem Grant, so fast, but his hands, hands were like butter. We'll do this randomizer at the end, along with the uh, the Bo Jackson giveaway. We'll set that up here, so we don't forget about it. All right. Next pack, we got Warren Moon to 225. Warren Moon stuff, of course, will go to Mike and the Titans. Turn down for Watt, J.J. Watt, 154 out of 225 Texans. Michael Hansen with Houston. We've got a Todd Gurley relic, 45 out of 150. Rams edition, going to Gene. And we've got black gold rookie signatures, Tyreek Hill. 152 out of 225 for the Speedster going to Kansas City. Robert with the Chiefs. And we got A.J. Green for the Bengals. Stephen Rushing, dual relic. Or A.J. Green and Tyler Boyd. 8 out of 49, dual relic. All right, that was 2016 Black Gold. Uh, why don't we get into some plates and patches right here? 2019 plates and patches. We've got a one per box plate and it's Keenan Allen from uh, Obsidian Football. That's a pretty cool plate. Look at that. That goes to Robert and the Bolts. Gets the nice obsidian plate. And we can't give you this top loader right here. Look at that. There's a chip right there. Oh, not, not, not befitting this. Uh... Actually, there's kind of a little chip right there, but it's not as bad. All right, there you go, Robert. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. All right, now we got rookie Daniel Jones. He reveals a Jerome Bettis to 35. Behind rookie Daniel Jones is Love, Triple Relic, 2 out of 99. All you need is love. Washington, Levi. And there's Daniel Jones right here. Rookie Daniel Jones for the New York Football Giants. Going to Chris Maxwell. See the future out there? We might get the number one pick. If that's the case, we'll go, go back in time to 2016 again. I've been hearing rumblings. I don't follow the college stuff too closely, but I've been hearing rumblings that Trevor Lawrence might just stay. At Clemson, if he doesn't like the team with the number one pick that he thinks he's going to go to. 
Would he do that? Could he do that? Should he do that? Would Clemson even want him back? All right, yes, he can. Now, could he then? <laughs> Would he? Should he? He can, but he won't, says Chris Maxwell. Yeah, he, he's just, I mean, you can't risk, you can't risk being the number one pick and not take that paycheck. Imagine if you have like a serious injury, playing one more year of college football. I would start my career right away. I mean, I suppose you'd have to have the confidence, you know, to be like, yeah, you put put me on a terrible team. I'll turn the franchise around. I think you want that, right? You want that kind of confidence. Yeah, Adam's a Jets fan. He's saying gut feeling is he'll be in the draft, but hoping the Jets have a promising new coach at that point. Right, look at Tua. Cost him millions. Sterling Shepard rated rookie, New York Football Giants. You know, there was no auto in that plates and patches, by the way. It was just the plate, the relic, and the Daniel Jones. Yeah, I think we got shorted an autograph. On average. There's Carson Wentz, Eagles relic, going to Asa. Look at that, Michael Thomas, rated rookie card for the Saints, Ryan P. And back when we were ripping this stuff in 2016, these rated rookie cards, we, we shipped, obviously they're rookies, we shipped them, but they weren't really getting a lot on the secondary market. But now, nowadays, that for a lot of players, that is really boosted in value. 2018 Phoenix coming at you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take this moment to let you know that on jazbeescasebreaks.com, we got pre-orders for Phoenix football right now, 2020 edition of Phoenix football. In fact, I like seeing this 2018 version because earlier today I was saying since its debut, maybe a, maybe that's the de debut year, maybe a year before that, but since its debut, I feel like every year they have improved the, uh, the design and the vibe of Phoenix. So here, let's take a look at old Phoenix and then you can compare that to New Phoenix and see what you think. I think the general kind of chrome design is, is still there. But I feel like they've just improved like relics. I've, they've improved just overall design. They sharp tightened it up a little bit. I like, I like what they've done with this. So pre-order. The new Phoenix football drops this Friday on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck, everybody. We got 19 out of 199. 
Zay Jones for the Bills. AP with the Bills on my Raiders. Now we got Doris Fountain of Youth, jersey and autograph. Doris Fountain going to Jeff Houston in Indianapolis. That is 264 out of 299. And we got Armani Watts, rookies. Yeah, Calvin, Calvin Ridley should be in a lot of these products. David Johnson, Adrenaline Rush, Cardinals, Benjamin. That was uh, 21 out of 49, by the way. Kike Kuti, big relic there. For the Texans, that'll be for uh, Michael Hansen. 37 out of 100. John Kelly for the Rams. 71 out of 199. We got Jordan Lasley rookies to 149. Jose with the Ravens. 006 out of 149. And Lights Camara Action, Veteran Materials. Going to Nolens. That'll be for Ryan with New Orleans Saints. 18 out of 100. And a Lamar Jackson rookie card. Nice. Ravens, Jose with the Purple Birds. We got Keenan Allen to 299 for the Bolts. That'll be for Robert. We got Drew Brees, 002 out of 299 for the Saints, Ryan. Jalen Holmes, rookie. Jaleel Scott, rookies. Ravens. I think one of the things they did in subsequent sets was maybe trim down the. The numbered cards, I think, just tighten it up a little bit. Vita Vea rookies. That's to one ninety nine, and Von Miller to two ninety nine. Derwin James rookies. Another one for Robert and the Chargers. 99. There's Calvin Ridley right there. That's who uh, Tommy was looking for. From Tommy to Tom Brady, 11 out of 299. Patriots edition going to Travis. We got rising rookies, gloves, and autograph Josh Rosen. What are they, what's going to happen with Josh Rosen? You don't think Belichick could turn Rosen into? I don't know if the Cam Newton experiment doesn't work out. I think some team will take a chance at it. That's for Ben and the Cardinals. Could be a wait and see on that guy. Blake Bortles to 199. And Mason Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. Maybe the Steelers. Could the Steelers do something with. Big Ben's not going to be around forever. All right, let's. I'm, gonna, I'm saving all this mosaic to the end. That choice, especially, will be to the end. Let's go with some certified. 2020 certified. Rosen. Oh, that's right. Rosen on the Bucks practice squad for now. now. You don't think isn't Bruce Arians a sort of a quarterback whisperer? You don't think he can do something with a. Uh... No, no. Chris Maxwell says he just sucks. He's he's no good. I feel like he just got, didn't get a fair shake. The coach, the, the team that, that hired him got fired. New coach, Cliff comes in, wants a completely different quarterback. 
So Rosen gets shipped, shipped off. Maybe gets a little bit of a damaged goods tag attached to him. Maybe he's not that into football. Maybe he's... Just who's gonna take who's gonna take a chance on him now? It's on a practice squad. Let's see if he rises above the practice squad level. Alright, and we'll do an autograph and relic recap at the end. This is still 2020. So there's Devin Duvernay for Jose. And the Ravens, 109 out of 199. Joe Burrow, 2020. Nice. Who got the Bengals? Steven Rushing, who won that spot in a blaster break, one of those filler breaks, got randomized the Bengals and ends up with the first Joe Burrow of the break. Chris, I want to see that in a scouting report someday. Josh Rosen's Milli Vanilli. You thought he was great, but it was all fake. I want to see that in an official scouting report. This is Jalen Johnson for the Bears. There's Chandler Jones, 99. Tom Brady, greatest insert. Vaughn Miller. Clyde Edwards E. Lair. Daniel Jones to 450. That's right, blame it on the rain. It's not Rosen's fault, it's the rain's fault. That's for the Chiefs. That's going to go to Robert Runkle. Kansas City. Got Cam Akers, three ninety nine. Cam Green Akers. Speaking of green, there's some green right here. AJ Dillon for the Green Bay Packers. Adam Kupperman with the Go Pack Go. And the Michael Pittman Jr. is our autograph. There it is. Two color patch and auto. 301 out of 349 for the Blue Horseshoes. Jeff Houston with Indianapolis. And we got, hey, look at this, a Tony Siragusa autograph. Five out of 20. What's Tony Siragusa doing these days? I feel like he was, uh, he did some TV with CBS for a long time. All right, let's get some of that elite going right here. Uh, you, met, you met Tony Siragusa after a Jets Ravens game a few years back, Adam Singh. Your dad knew his uncle. He always seemed great on TV. He, he was on the field. He had, I thought he was kind of funny. What do I think about the Rams' new uniforms? I, I don't mind the uniform so much as the, the logo itself is just not good. You know? Like, that LA sort of logo looks like a Chargers logo. But I kind of like that sort of 3D polygon shape Rams logo in the middle of the field looks cool. I've not driven by the stadium yet. I, I think I, I should. It's actually not too far off the freeway going home from work, so could definitely do that at some point. I don't know how close I, I guess I could see it from the from the street right there because it's pretty flat. I think it's right next to the forum, so that area has it's kind of like a square gridded off kind of nicely, so it might be flat enough where I could definitely see it from the street side. Tony Siragusa had a, had a home improvement show called Man. 
We need more Tony Saragusa on TV. There's Antoine Winfield Jr. to 399. Yeah, see this like the uniform maybe that's last year's, but that, that logo I'm not a fan of. Doesn't move doesn't move the needle for me. I like the this playing card design in Elite. Kenyon Drake. I don't know, what do you think about the logo, Chris? It's Tom Brady. It's all these Tom Brady inserts, of course, will ship to their respective teams. Anything crazy here? Marquise Brown to 399? No, I guess not. Matt Ryan, kid reporter card. Thank you. So we got a trio of mosaic boxes right here, which we're gonna save till the end. So let's do limited gala, some mosaics. Maybe I'll do some mosaics. Maybe I'll leave choice and gala to the end. How about that? Maybe choice and gala. All right, here is 2018 limited football. Jason, who won last week? Really? J J Jason's mom is like an NFL picks whiz. I was tied for second. You were tied for second. All right. All right, that's a Sean's first good week. I mean, you're you're not an expert like me and Ted. Winners, winners of the pool. <laughs> There's Von Miller to 25 and Saquon Barkley, rookie phenoms, just a relic. 49 out of 99 for Chris Maxwell and the Giants. Yeah, right? It looks like a Chargers logo. That Rams logo looks like a Chargers logo. It just doesn't make sense. All right, we got Juju Smith Schuster. Behind him is Mike Gesicki. Two color patch and on card autograph. Two forty nine out of two ninety nine. That'll be for Miami Colton with the Dolphins. Oh, and a re redemption on the back. Any guesses on this redemption from twenty eighteen? Maybe I'll do this no huddle first. Feel bad for uh, Saquon on, on on the Giants. Man, I feel I I don't feel that bad. I feel like I feel like the Giants kind of had a little bit of a team. You know, they had like a, they had Daniel Jones, decent. Could I mean we don't really know what the story is on him. He, you know, but I think he has a high ceiling. You know, some decent pass catchers and Sterling Shepard and Evan Ingram, who like hates blocking, but but he can definitely catch the ball, and make some plays. They got Saquon Barkley, so they had like some pieces. You know. losing my voice too much yelling yesterday but anyway I feel like a little bit of defense kind of get them to a position to maybe threaten in a few years I mean 
That injury, I think, really kind of set him back, though. Chris Richardson saying the Texans quickly turning to the worst team in football. Well, I think the the Jets might Jets and Giants might have something to say about that. Darius Leonard. I don't know why Darius Leonard was flipped around. Oh, the redemption. It's Carry On Johnson rookie patch autographs variations. That's going to be for Detroit. That'll be for Karen and the Lions. Carry on my wayward son. What's going on with the Texans, Chris? Well, they got rid of Bill O'Brien. I think that was one of the big, big deals. So maybe this year is just a weird transitional year getting out of the Bill O'Brien era into a new era. It's Keenan Allen purple disco for Robert and the Chargers. Van Jefferson disco parallel. Antonio Gibson, got an NFL debut, Chase Claypool, he's been a debut season for him. Steelers, Corey, Antonio will go to Levi and then the Washington football team. No O line, says Chris. We have no O line. Defense is horrible. What do they got to do? I feel like there's Mercury Morris, old Dolphin, going to Colton. You just blow it up. Oh, right, because they gave away those picks for Cooks, maybe David no, no, Johnson. No, no. Oh. I saw I saw a crazy and I think this was maybe just for clicks on ESPN but some, someone mentioning do they trade JJ Watt? I feel like maybe yes but I feel like you can't really trade JJ Watt though it's Drew Locke 75 fans would riot I feel like Oh my god, yeah. If he gets traded, he does have to go to Pittsburgh. All three brothers playing together? Wow. There's our Joe Burrow. Mosaic Joe Burrow. Base going to Stephen Rushing. And we got Justin Jefferson, 6 out of 10. Nice one for the Vikings. That'll be for Oliver. No? Chris Maxwell loves Bill O'Brien. Got teams to the playoffs a few times with garbage quarterbacks. I feel like Bill O'Brien will get a chance somewhere else. Yeah, let's do this. 
But I don't know. I think when's the last time? Oh, there we go. When's the last time like giving giving a coach like GM power as well, head coach GM power as well? When's the last time that was worked out in recent memory? Like in the last 10, 15 years? I feel like the game of football is just it's just too complicated, and too complex now to to be a head coach and the GM. But maybe he lands somewhere as as a head coach elsewhere, but just, just as a head coach. Just focus on that. I don't think he's going to get hired as a GM anytime soon. <laughs> Pittsburgh might go to the bowl this year. Who are they playing this week? Pittsburgh's playing... Ooh, ooh. Pittsburgh, yeah, Ravens, right? Steelers at Ravens. What does everyone... That's a great game. Who does everyone have in that one? Ravens are the home favorites. Minus three and a half. A little hook there. Could be interesting. All right, here's the, here's the mega box. There's TJ Watt. We were just talking about him. Jordan Love for the Packers. That'll be for Adam. Yeah, see, that's why maybe you just trade away a lot of guys, Chris Richardson. Try to reaccumulate some draft picks. Try to rebuild that team sooner rather. I mean, might as well just do it sooner rather than later. There's DeAndre Swift for Karen and the Lions because you don't want to waste the better part of Deshaun Watson's career. Just blow it up. Keep everyone but, you know, keep everyone but uh, Deshaun Watson. Or trade everyone but Deshaun Watson. New coach, new GM. Just tear it down to build it back up. ASAP. No need to waste time. Just do it. Easier said than done, but at least there could be some progress. All right, there's Gala football right here. This is Gala from 2019, 2016. Sorry, upside down nine. Got 15 out of 99, Curtis Martin. Jets edition going to Josh. A redemption. A Travis Kelsey autograph. Nice. 8 out of 25 starring roll signatures. On card auto. Travis Kelsey. Heading out to Robert Runkle and the Chiefs. We got Jared Goff, autograph, rookie autograph, cinematic signatures. That is 39 out of 99. Heading out to Gene and the Los Angeles Rams. There you go, Rams having a nice season. And there's Christian Hackenberg, two color patch. Two out of 10, Jets, Josh. And the redemption is going to be Artie Burns. Cinematic rookie signatures. Artie Burns Steelers? Back in 2016? Yes, Steelers. He's a bear now on IR. But that'll go to Pittsburgh. That'll be for Corey. Put the sticker a little high here. And look at this, a free top loader too. All right, so that was Gala, and now we're, we're here. We're here, folks. We're here at Choice. Mosaic Choice, this is pretty nice. One card out of here. 
easily save your break if you're having a bad break. One card out of here could easily make a good break even better. Where's the auto? I don't know where the autograph spot is. I don't know. We'll just roll with it. All right. We got Kevin King for the Packers. There's the autograph. Jake Luton is your choice autograph. That goes to Matt Buckler and the Jaguars. Jaguars? Jaguars? We got Red Le'Veon for the Jets. Josh. We'll see how he does in uh, Kansas City now. We've got Red, Darrington Evan, 34 out of 80 for Mike Krasinski and the uh, Titans. Oh, I thought this was going to be a Joe Burrow for a second. It's Tyler Boyd, 58 out of 80. That'll be for Cincinnati, Stephen Rushing. This is the guy that Chris Maxwell was talking about. If anyone have more autographs than James Morgan, he wants to have dinner with him. Thinks he might be used to signing checks. Signing cards, signing checks. Slip that right over there. James Morgan for the Jets. Josh Melton. Here's a good one to hang on to. Jordan Love. Uh... I think Adam, right? Adam Kupperman with the Green Bay Packers. Is this is this future Aaron Rodgers? Is this the future of the organization here? Hold on to that. Once he once he emerges, you bust this out. Oh, and and the AJ Dillon for you. So good finish for the Packers. Could be Love and Dillon in the future. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was a pretty nice break. Nice 14 box Bo Nose football mixer. We did not see a lot of Bo Jacksons. But we are giving away an autographed full size Raiders helmet along with the randomizer for this. So let's go and grab a new list right here. No points in this, too, which is nice. Need a couple lists here. All right, so the first one is going to be the quad relic. That's going to be, where are you here? Kenneth Dixon, Baltimore, Devontae Booker, Denver, Tyler Irvin, Houston, and Paul Perkins, New York Football Giants. And everyone has a shot at the helmet. So from Benjamin all the way down to Levi and everyone in between, put you in this list right here, got a shot at it. One dice roll for both lists. It's going to be... Five and a six, 11 times. Team on top here after 11. One, two, four, six, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. After 11, team on top is Baltimore. So that's going to go to Jose with the Ravens. He'll get this quad relic right here, 249. All right, and the big giveaway for this mixer right here. Five and a six, 11 times. Name on top gets the helmet. One, two, ten, and 11. Then final time after 11. Big thanks, to everybody, right here. Thank you for getting in. And congrats to. Levi Johnson. Lee, I don't know if I called your name out very often, Levi. You had the Washington football team. Yeah, I don't think there's anything too crazy for them. But you got a Bo Jackson helmet. Wow, that's pretty sharp. Look at that. The Raiders. We got a little, uh, let me show you on this camera here. We got a little 
Rydell, Riddell, Rydell, hang tag. Right here, where's his autograph? There's his autograph right there, Bo Jackson. It's pretty awesome. We got the Beckett sticker on the back here. We have a Beckett card. Usually they, they include a card here somewhere too. It's pretty sweet, right? Which one is that on the Raiders one? Yeah, the Bo Jackson. Oh, it was in the box? Oh, I thought it was with that. Yeah, the Chrome one's pretty nice. And the, the card is right there. Have you done the second NBA the or no, right? Not the second NBA, right? You haven't done the second one yet? An oh, no, I have not. No. And there you go, boys and girls. That's a nice helmet right there. Nice finish to the break. Set that over here. Let's do a quick little uh, recap. Yeah, I agree, Chris. Not, it was a nice break. Nothing, nothing too insane. But, I mean, nowadays with these rookie cards being so valuable... A lot of different rookie cards that we pull will have uh, a lot more weight, a lot more value than it than it did in previous years. We spanned a lot of different years in this. There's the Gardner Minshew, Harrison Smith game day signatures. All these parallels from Choice are really nice. The Goff Rookie Auto, Travis Kelsey on card, that's a 10. The Joe Burrow, old school guys, new school guys, on card guys, Goose guys, Pittman Jr., the Elaire, Clyde Edward, the Edwards Elaire right here, and the Joe Burrow. It was pretty sharp. And then, of course, the Devin Duvernay as well. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the quick little recap for the 14 box Bo Nose football mixer. Awesome helmet. That was a lot of fun. The mixer was a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging and chatting with us. Stick with us all NFL season long. We'll talk football, break football, and we'll do all this sort of fun stuff. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.